because as colleges continue to figure out how to structure classes this coming fall semester, many students are questioning whether to enroll at all. But experts say, while taking a gap year may sound like a good idea, students should think twice about that option. Joining me right now is student loan expert at Nerd Wallet, Cecilia Clark, to help give us some sense of what taking that route may look like for students. Good morning, Cecilia. Good morning. Okay, so a lot of folks are thinking about a gap year. One, they may be just too nervous about returning to school. Some may think, you know, studying from home is not my way of doing it. So what is the risk, though, if they decide not to return to school in some capacity this fall? So I think it's important to point out the differences between a gap year and a stop, stop out. Gap years are for students who've just completed an academic program and are starting a new one. So these would be high school students just about to enter college or even undergraduate students getting ready for graduate school. That's different than students who are already enrolled in their program and are taking a break. Those students who decide to take a stop out, that comes with different risks. Okay, so if you're gonna take a gap year break, what risk comes with that? So if you're a freshman and you're going, starting a new program, then you might have to worry about what will you do during your stop year. Um, travel is limited. So those are different issues. But the real issue is for students who are in the middle of their program and decide that they might not want to go back in the fall. Those students have to worry about their student loans going into repayment, readmissions policies, and also the um, probability that they might not be able to work or have any options during their time off of school. Right, so do you still have to pay for those student loans even if you're not attending? If you have already taken out student loans and you take a stop out, you might overextend your grace period. So grace periods are typically six months. If you're out of school or drop below half time longer than six months, then your loans will likely go into repayment. Okay, and for those who are just gonna take that gap year, do you have to reapply to get into the schools that you were accepted to? So it really depends. If you are a freshman going into college, you can apply for a deferred enrollment. That's okay. different than students that are already in the middle of their program. If you decide to take time off without talking to your school and getting an official leave of absence, then you might fall under their readmissions policy. And each school has a different readmissions policy. Some will require you to reapply, um, require you to submit another application, and some may even not re let you come back at all. So let me get your opinion on this, especially with the finances of it all. Should people really truly consider going to school this fall to keep things on track or is it okay financially to take this little break, if you will? If you're already in your program, uh, the Nerd Wallet advice is to keep that momentum going towards graduation. So if that means dropping down to a half-time schedule so that you can retain some of your financial aid benefits, or even taking some online community college classes so that you can knock out your general education requirements while keeping that momentum toward graduation and saving some money, that is ultimately better than taking time off completely. But if you do decide that taking a stop out is the best for you because of concerns or other financial reasons, then you definitely want to talk to your school about an official leave of absence. Yeah, that's a really good idea, this halftime uh, schedule, if you will, because some folks may not have considered that as an option. But like you say, it still keeps you on track. Cecilia, thank you so much. This has been great information. Regardless of what people decide, at least we've given them some options here. So we appreciate it.